Hello, and thank you so much for joining me today for another Thought from the Bible. I'm coming to you from under my front porch today here in Liberia because there is a, a storm circling around and it's raining a little bit. It may get a little bit harder, so uh, I thought I'd stay where it's relatively dry. Uh, my husband Dave and I are missionaries here in this lovely country, Liberia in West Africa. And if you hadn't heard our recent news, uh, Dave in the last few weeks was rushed to hospital for emergency surgery for acute appendicitis. He is doing really well and recovering well and he's actually gone back to work this week which is great. But you know, it's been an, an interesting experience, especially because there's no options like you might have in, in a Western hospital, like keyhole surgery for an appendectomy. Here, it, it's just open surgery. And sorry if you're squeamish, but you know that means slicing through skin and a muscle and whatever else is in the, the abdomen area between the outside and the appendix. Uh, it's not, not the most pleasant experience, I think that's safe to say. But you know, what's been absolutely amazing to me in the last few weeks is seeing how it all heals. How the muscles and the skin can knit back together, even after such a major incision. It's amazing enough when you have a, a paper cut on your finger and within a, a couple of days there's not even any evidence of it. All Dave will be left with after this surgery, after his body has, has stitched him back together, will be a scar. And though the, the itchiness right now around the incision is, is annoying, I think it's fair to say, it's actually evidence of cells in the area putting Dave back together again. It's evidence of new nerve connections joining to the old ones, which makes the area more sensitive than normal. Isn't that incredible? It's mind-blowing. These bodies of ours are absolutely amazing. They are majestic feats of engineering with the ability to heal themselves. I don't often stop to think about that really. It's only when something different to the norm happens that it makes you stop to appreciate that. And as I was doing my, my daily Bible reading this week, a little verse in Proverbs kind of made me think along these lines. Proverbs chapter 20 verse 12 says, ears that hear and eyes that see. The Lord has made them both. And I love the way the New Living Translation puts that verse. It says, ears to hear and eyes to see. Both are gifts from the Lord. They are gifts from the Lord. Now, I can't remember the last time I stopped in my day to say thank you to God for the gift of sight and the gift of hearing. I'm just so accustomed to those things that it never even occurs to me to think that they are gifts from God. It's often only when we experience illness or, or the loss of one of our senses that we suddenly become aware of how much it means to us. You know, anyone who lost their sense of smell or taste through COVID can say what a, a strange experience that was, losing the enjoyment that we find in eating and drinking. Our bodies are absolutely amazing. Don't even get me started on how intricate our eyes are, how amazing the human brain is that no computer has come close to replicating. We are incredible. And there's a well-known passage, I'm, I'm sure I've shared it before in these videos, but Psalm 139 tells us that you, as God, you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. That incredible body of yours was knit together in a wonderful, wonderful way. And yes, 
sometimes these bodies of ours fail us. Sometimes they break down. Sometimes we suffer through pain and sickness. We're still living in this broken world where we occasionally have to deal with those things or frequently have to deal with those things. But that doesn't change the fact that God, the master architect, has created these living temples of ours to be something quite extraordinary. I don't know about you, but that encourages me today. See, I'm, I'm an author, right? I create books. And when they're finished, when I type those last words, when I wrote the end after all my effort, I don't just delete it. I don't just throw it in the bin. I don't suddenly stop caring about what I've created. No, that's when I, I start the, the editing process and I start streamlining what I've written and polishing it and trying to bring it to perfection so it can be the best that it can be. And sometimes that can be a, a painful process because it can involve cutting things out and making big alterations. It's not always easy, but I keep going. And when I get to the point where I feel like, okay, this is about as good as I can get it, it takes a while. But when I eventually reach that point, I didn't stop caring about it then either. That's the point when I, I hope that people will read it and enjoy it. I don't forget something that I have created. How much more then is God still invested in his creation? He thinks that you are amazing. He thinks that you are wonderful. When he had finished his work of creation, he looked at man and said, that is very good. The God who made you cares about you. He still cares about his creation. Cast all your anxiety on him, says 1 Peter chapter 5 and verse 7, because he cares for you. That's for you. You watching this video right now, he created you. You are amazing and he cares for you. See, whenever you have a tiny cut on your finger that heals, you can remember the God who formed you so that you can heal. And you can remember that he cares for you. And whenever you look at some beautiful scene or hear the birds singing in the trees or that lovely sound of rain on a tin roof, you can be thankful for this gift of sight and sound and remember that the God who gave you those gifts cares for you. God didn't put all that effort into making you just to forget about you. Of course he didn't. He thinks you're wonderful. He made you in his image. Do you know every time you look at yourself in the mirror, you are looking at the image of God? That is incredible. You are amazing. And that's a good thing to remember. Not to be arrogant about it. Oh yes, how amazing am I? Not like that but as a reminder that God created you, that God cares about you, that God is invested in you. Only in that realization can we get to a place where we can truly cast all our anxiety onto him and live in that amazing freedom of knowing that God is still with us, that God made us that God is invested in us, that nothing can ever change the fact that God cares about us. Thank you so much for joining me today from this rather wet Liberia. Um, I will be back on Wednesday with another thought from the Bible, so I will see you then.